Urban Scoop is sponsored by Gami and Mipa is the leading children's store in Uganda today. We make dressing your kids as easy as ABC. So come and join the family of Gami and Mipa fans and customers at Forest Mall Lugogo, Shop 64, right above Stanwick Bank on the second floor. <laughs> know some girl called Lisa Mande. Well, this is a chick right here. That is Lisa Mande for you. Well, about some time before, yeah, like in August last, this year, yes, because right now I'm, I'm thinking in terms of 2016. But anyway, this girl was involved in a fight sometime with Baby Cool, yeah, then uh, it was uh, apparently to do something that, you know, Baby Cool poured a drink on her because of something like that. But one, Lisa Mande is one of those faded socialites, like who trended way back 10 years right now. She is, okay, man, she managed to sit first one more time up in this uh, entertainment industry. So it was over the fight with Baby Cool, and you know what, what, what? Things never really got out, you know, to, to blow up, and, you know, we never got to really see where it, the, the, the battle actually ended, all right? So Baby Cool, really, what happened? with that like do we want to know what happened with you and Lisa Mande don't forget you guys this show is probably sponsored by Gami and Mipa down the floor with small go go shop number 64 no not shop number 64 they actually shifted yes they shifted to the ground floor on block b right for a small logo go yes across the parking yard so if you need anything for your kids yes clothes shoes toys if you're planning a party if you need anything for your babies something new for the new year that is coming through definitely go down to gummy Mipa, find something amazing for them everything new everything nice and very affordable and it is easily accessible gummy Mipa for a small logo go block b right across the parking yard all right so you see this picture Yes. Well, the reason I actually brought it on this show is because, well, this picture should have taken, okay, should have had much more the audience that it should have when it first surfaced, but it did not get all that. Yes, in 2015, of course. My issue is this picture is actually very authentic. Yes, because the reason is she went out to do a show in Egypt and, you know, someone actually gave it to her. This is one of those authentic things. Leave alone that money from uh, the TMT team. Is it the TMT team? Rich gang. Those guys are using fake dollars, what they call prop money, whatever it is. Uh, leave uh, Palazzo's bling, all that, you know, just, yeah, and other people's relationships. Now, this thing should have, you know, gotten a lot, a lot of, you know, yeah, the p people talk about uh, people, celebrities or musicians going to do Illuminati, but I think, well, this picture should have actually gotten a lot of, you know, the bars all over the place, but then it did not, and because Scoop and Scoop actually did not do it, so other people did not do it. So, for the first time in history of 2015, Shiba's picture has, you know, surfaced on Scoop and Scoop, and yeah, cool. We're going to say, we're giving you the glory that you lost for this picture. <laughs> Ziza Bafana stole the phone. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know it is surprising as much as it is for me. Like, the story is he had went to some pub or club in, ba in Kampala, not Bahara. No, yes, Ziza Bafana was actually here. So he actually, when one of the guys that was in the, in the audience uh, here, he came up running to Ziza Bafana. Ziza Bafana has stolen my phone. Ziza Bafana has stolen my phone. So... My issue is, really, these days this guy is buying a car, he's doing lots of great stuff. Okay, he has uh, short videos, I hear him, he shot a video of 23, 73 million. <laughs> okay, okay, someone shoots a video of 73 million and then you steal a phone, it's so crazy. But anyway, however that is, that is the first part of Ziza Bafana's stories or episode 4 this time, because he hasn't been trading for this quite, for quite some time, yeah, but then... I have to call him on that one, by the way. On that note, I have to call Ziza Bafan and ask him whether he really stole a phone. But before I do that, I've also heard, mm, while on his way from Massacre coming to Kampala, he was stopped by a police officer alongside the road. Yes, but this guy, you know how rugged he is. You know how crazy he is. You know how Ziza Bafana is. In fact, if you talk about him, he might do the next song about you. Yeah. So, Ziza Bafana, however rugged you are, this guy was stopped on the road. And yes, you're not above the law, Ziza Bafana. You're not above the law. So, this guy stopped him and then he got out of the car and I hear, I don't know what transpired. I don't know what happened. But then this guy fought one of the traffic police officers says yes you fought yeah but fun what you call yourself yeah all you do is just music and that is where it should just keep at and of course when he beat up this guy he even tore his yeah this traffic police guy he also tore his shirt you can imagine the pictures are here man but then that is exactly why i need to call zizi Bafana right now and find out exactly what he has to say about this i hope he doesn't chicken out because he tends to feel like he's on top of everyone how are you boss i'm not fine you're not fine uh, yeah. Is it because is it because of what I think or some other business? 
just I just got a uh, attack of malaria. Hey, malaria. Okay, then we are, that is so sad, but uh, we hope we hope you get better soon, right? Thank you. All right, my name is Ron. Yeah. Yes, Ron. Yeah, and I'm on Scoop and Scoop. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, we wanted to ask you, there are some issues that have been going around, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, first of all, there was a story that you stole someone's phone. Sure. Yeah, so just, it is not that I'm saying, right? Yeah, the, sh yeah. the issue is that you stole someone's phone, so it's been around. So I just wanted to find out from you whether it is true or not. It's not true. You know, we have a big problem in the industry. Hmm. Uh, Mm. Some of the people who are some of the people who are programs on TVs and radios, mm. some people who social media, mm. sometimes you want to have a chance to study you. Mm. You have to proof that you are not going to be able to do Now, when COVID, they have called me. Mm. Now, you have to have a chance to do it COVID. Like now, what do you have to do with COVID? You have to have a chance to do it with COVID. I also I've, wanted to I've, ask you about that also. video a million in some of us at so people have been saying yeah that Zizi Bufana stole someone's phone and like you've heard he's saying he's above that level definitely because he's on too big things he can shoot a video of 73 million so he isn't any about not in this time not in the next time to come that he, he will steal the phone and about the police officer yes he's saying he's sick he has been sick and all that stuff so this is scoop and scoop you get the rough from the raw rich gag tmt what up boys what up boys you're no longer trending where the man yet it happened and it's now gone yes i know it is not okay you guys claim to be rich all through all year round and this time it's just september you just no it's just <laughs> you guys claim to be rich all year round and this time it's just december you just a fest because you had come to do a christmas party but then your money is already done right now these days you know those days you just throw to everyone but then these days you just get maybe a couple of girls those girls that can manage to you know go with five thousand ten thousand and then you get them to you know clear your face when you're doing a show no i mean when you're showing off at those parties you go to these days yes you can feel afford to go to a party but i think one thing i remember is that yeah leila kayondo was on a tv show on saturday and she said that these events you guys get there for free so right now i'm thinking you don't even have money to spend when you go out to those places you just go there yes because you have free entrance Plus, those girls, you're just giving them 5Ks and these things. Chaku made out just. But that is life, you guys. <laughs> and this is Scoop and Scoop, where we bring you all that. And don't forget, we proudly sponsored by Gami and Mipa. Down at Forest Mall, go go. Yes, right across the parking yard. On the ground floor, if you need anything for your kids for the new year or for the time to come, they're going to school. Yes, because soon after the year starts, they'll be going to school. So you need something for them? Toys, beds, bags, bed sheets plays everything everything that you need for your kids clothes everything that you need down at gummy and me pie yes it is the only leading number one shop in ug where you'll find such stuff for your kids don't forget gummy and me pie forest mall logogo block b right across the parking yard they got you Scoop was sponsored by Gami and Mipa is the leading children's store in Uganda today. We make dressing your kids as easy as APC. So come and join the family of Gami and Mipa fans and customers at Forest Mall Lugogo, Shop 64, right above Stanwick Bank on the second floor.